Hello everyone, Jose J. Garcia with Garcia Mahome University here. So difference between real estate and personal property. I've made a lot of videos explaining differences and even how to convert them from personal property to real estate, but I don't think I've ever actually taken the time to break down in full the difference in when is one one and when is the other one the other one kind of thing. And we'll talk about also, like I said, converting it from personal property to real estate, kind of like what's behind me. If that was uh, on, on a piece of land, not, not inside of a mobile home park, we could convert that from personal property to real estate simply by putting it as part of the deed. Let's get started. When is it real estate? Big question, right? Stick build, apartments, duplexes, quads, you know, a list of, but you own the land under the home. You have a deed. So it's not a title. You have a deed, an actual deed too. The deed is to the land and may or may not include the mobile home. Again, that would be converting it into. You may or may not run, have the rules about. So rules and regulations, think about that. Okay, now there's HOAs, you know, it can be. Even though it is a mobile home, many times if you have your own land and it depends on where it's at, because you can have what it looks like a mobile home park and may actually not be a park. It could just be a piece of multiple pieces of parcel of land and you have mobile home after mobile home. These are typically considered almost like a community, and many times they do have a HOA rules and regulations. So keep in mind on that as well. But most times they don't. They don't have rules and regulations because it is not a park. Um, you obviously don't rent. I mean, you could rent out one of those, of course, but you have to pay real estate taxes. And obviously you would not be paying as part of a, a split, you know, one for the mobile home, one for the real property. No, you could if you have a mobile home on it. And the mobile home has not been retired to, therefore, it's almost like a personal property that you have on top. Think almost like a vehicle. You have a vehicle at your piece of land, okay? Just because that, that car, per se, is at the piece of land does not mean it, it excludes from paying taxes. It's just a different of. It's its own bill, in a sense. The mobile home and a piece of land like that would just happen to be sitting there, in a sense, right? Okay, so that would be one. You would not be paying yearly tax. Again, that would be more deferred towards the mobile home. It, specifically you will have record obviously of a mortgage and part of the deed on personal and, and or real taxes which is found in public records public taxes a lot of states have a lot of information some little to none I, I say that quite often when i'm talking about florida i love florida by the way probably my favorite state but when it comes to public records they are very minimal. You can pay for them. You can pay. And even then sometimes you get a little bit of trouble just because of what is listed and people make it personal. By the way, quick tip on that. If you do have mobile home or or uh, real estate and you don't want your information displayed on public records, you can pay to have it opted out. So you don't have to have that because some of these states have a lot of information on there. OK, now, when is it personal property? OK, let's talk mobile homes. Now, personal property is many things. It's not just a mobile home. Personal property is technically a car, a motorcycle, a boat, a vacuum cleaner, in a sense. It's personal property. I know there's a bit of difference there, but they don't have a deed. They have a title. OK, every car, every boat, every even a camper, for instance, in mobile home, they have a title. If it's a single one, it has one. If it's a double, it has two. But it is a title. OK, it is a mobile and it can be moved. Um, you obviously wouldn't have land under it, not considered retired to, or it would make it into real estate. You will have a set of rules if it's in a mobile home park, like I said, a community park. There's rules, regulations. Each and every individual that lives in the park has to abide. They have to have backgrounds done, that sort of thing. The rules may apply stronger, depends on the county, the community, and the park as to where it's located. You know, every park has different rules, but overall, I see the most parks are pretty equal in a sense of rules, other than some are a little more strict in certain things, but you know, nothing crazy as such. If you have a title, obviously you register it through a DMV or tax assessor's office and not as you would like real estate. So here you would be paying on a tax similar to your vehicle. If you look at your vehicle every year, you pay X amount, you know, for tag and taxes and you get the little bitty decal that goes on your tag. Okay. I was going to say right bottom corner but i think some states are a little different maybe so i don't want to say that but the little decal you pay and you get okay well that's the same thing with a mobile home you pay for that yearly and every year you get a decal you got to stamp it on your mobile home you know some states they take the time you, you don't see this a whole lot in georgia don't, don't let me change that but where a lot of people simply don't care to put the decal on their window or on their door or wherever it's supposed to be at, you know in that county but there is rules for that and they are supposed to have a up to date, no different than your tag. You know, if you're going down the highway and you just, for whatever reason, decided, I don't want to put any more of those little decals, I want to pay for it. I just don't want to put them on. You would get fined for that. 
But uh, when it comes to mobile homes, they're just nah, kind of let them be. Most counties, you know, so. But some counties are known for an actual police officer going out to communities and paying attention and looking and seeing. And if that that decal is not there, they will find the individual. So a little tip on that as well. Um, you don't pay tangible taxes with the deed. Um, again, you know, because personal property in itself is one object. You know, it could be multiple if it's listed on the title. But uh, there is nothing attached to in the sense of real estate or even another personal property. That title has to define exactly what it is that it owns. And it's one way, you know, I teach a lot of how to do due diligence and how to compare. The one thing you never want to do is have a title that belongs to a pickup and you're thinking that it belongs to your mobile home. Obviously, that will not be the case. So, you know, one thing to keep in mind on that, it has to match. OK. Uh, a few other things that can make it personal property. I mean, overall, just, you know, one is part of deed, one is part of title. That is the biggest thing you can do. Now, how do you combine them? Okay. You take uh, the title, you know, you can take the title to any mobile home. Now you can't do this inside of a mobile home park because unless they're selling you the parcel, that piece of land, you know, every now and then you see some, some parts do that, but otherwise, uh, you know, that Mobile home has cannot be retired there. Now, what it means to be retired is simply you're removing the title, making that mobile home unmobile. It will not move anymore. It is part of the land now, and therefore it's going to become not only part of the land, but part of the deed, right? So it's going to be listed on the deed as, hey, you own 1.78 of an acre, and you have a manufactured mobile home, the year, the date, the, the model, et cetera. And it's all listed on there. And at that point, it is considered real estate. You also measure it differently. Typically, you measure a home by, by multiplying, by times. So if you're talking about a single wide, you would say, okay, it's a 14 by 70. But if you're talking about real estate now, then you would actually have to multiply. What is 14 times 70? Why don't y'all do the math? Whatever that equals, that's the amount, and that's what you listed as square footage. That's the square actual footage of the home. Hope this video helps. Biggest difference, uh, obviously, mobile homes are personal property and real estate property. All right. Visit GarciaMHU.com if you're looking for coaching. Email me directly at j at GarciaMHU.com. Till next time, thank you for watching.